Hi everybody. Okay, I tried this video using my computer video camera and guess what? It sucked. So I'm going to try it over. Um, basically, I've been in Florida for about 10 months now. And I wanted to go over a little bit of pros and cons to moving to Florida and, you know, what I like, what I don't like. I want to be very honest. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about things. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully you'll be able to learn something from it. Um, and if you have some pros and cons, be sure to comment it down below so that we can, you know, just continue to share and continue our little brainstorming um, about Florida. So the my first pro is the sunset skies. I, you just can't even imagine how beautiful they are down here. Coming from Chicago, you don't get the colors in the sky that you do down here. You, it's it's weird. I t I've taken many photos and I'm like, this photo doesn't even look real, but it is. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's great to go and eat on the beach and watch the sunset or wherever you are watching the sunset is just beautiful in Florida. Um, but it's a great, it's a great time to go out on a date, you know, and sit there by the beach, watching the sunset with someone that you care about. Just a perfect ending to the, the, to the date. The next thing I would say is the beaches are fun. Um, there's beaches all around you in Florida. You're never too far from a beach, so you can always go to a beach, whether it be on the ocean side or the Gulf side. Um, it takes me, I'm on the Gulf side, but it takes me only three hours to get to the ocean side if I want to go to the ocean side. So it's not that far. Um, usually we'll take a cooler, you know, load up a little bit of liquor and some drinks and, you know, then get an easy up, put it up. So we have a little bit of shade, sit under it, and it's perfect. It's beautiful. Um, so, yeah, the beaches are a huge plus here. Nature also. Everywhere you go in Florida, there's nature all around you. As soon as you step out your door, you're going to see little um, lizards they are running all over the place and I just, they're just so cute. I love them. Little, little gecko guys, um, from Geico all over the place. Um, I don't mind the spiders either. The palmetto bugs, I do mind. I don't like them in my house. I don't like to pick them up and scrunch them because they crunch. Um, so I spray my house about once every two weeks just to keep them out. Um, I also, when I wash my hands, brush my teeth, they tend to, you know, they'll come up the drains um, when when no water's being flushed down them. So what I do is I spray bleach into my drains, my shower drain, my sink drains, um, so that they don't come up the drains. Um, also, behind my work, there's a there's a nature preserve, basically, and I walk around it all the time, and I see animals that I've never even imagined in my life. I almost feel like I just walked into Oz. Um, there's all these different kinds of birds. Sometimes, every once in a while, I see a snake, turtles, um, just anything, ducks, anything you can imagine is back there. And we've got a couple alligators back there. Um, you can see them sometimes going across the, the pond or sometimes they'll just be sunbathing. Um, pretty much if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. So you just kind of steer clear of them. Um, you, you shouldn't feed them. You shouldn't try to bother them because that's when they start attacking. So just leave them alone and they'll leave you alone. Just walk right past them. The other thing that's really cool is the warmth. I loved that during winter I had my windows open. I was sleeping with all my windows open. It was so nice inside here. Um, in the summer, it gets 
really hot. Like, well, I wouldn't say really hot. I mean, it was like this in Chicago, like in the 90s sometimes, you know. Um, well, most times during the summer, it's in the 90s. But, you know, if you get too hot, guess what? Every place has air conditioning. There's not a place you can go that doesn't have air conditioning. Whether you go to the mall, grocery store, work, home, you're going to be in air conditioning. So if you get hot, you just go into the air conditioning. Or if you want to stay outside, jump in the pool or jump in the ocean or jump in the gulf. You're never too far from any kind of water. So I wouldn't recommend jumping in anything besides the ocean or the gulf, like any kind of pond, because there'll probably be an alligator in there. And if you disturb it, you might get a little bit more than you paid for. Um, also, we have really beautiful thunderstorms with lightning. In Chicago, I used to love watching them. Here, I love watching them. In Chicago, I didn't mind being out in them. Here, I won't go out there. I will not because there's too many people out here that get struck by lightning. They call Clearwater and St. Pete the lightning capital of the world, and for good reason. I, I think in the it's been storming, and in the last two weeks, there have been three or four people that have been hit by lightning. Um, somewhere on the beach, like I think lightning hit five people on the beach and one person died. Um, so thunderstorms, nothing to play with down here, but still beautiful to look at. If you're in your car or in your house, beautiful. Um, we also have a lot of bars that are on like Clearwater Beach on top of hotels. Jimmy's Crow's Nest, for example, so beautiful you get up on that up at that bar and you can have dinner and drinks and everywhere you look around you it's just water it's just beautiful and they're not expensive either they're actually really reasonably priced so really cool there's another bar that i like but it's not on top of a hotel it's on a beach it's behind the um double tree and it's called the tiki hut so incredible because you're just sitting on the beach drinking, watching the waves. It's just so much fun. Also in Florida, you're going to know at least one, two, three, maybe four people with boats. And when they take you out on the boats, it's so amazing because you get to see so many different animals that you don't get to see on land. If you go fishing, you get to see the fish. You always get to see dolphins. Sometimes you get to see some um, manatees. It, it's just, it's beautiful. And I, it, it's so great to be out on the boat. I told my friend Mike was like, Tom, what do you want to see this time on the boat? And I said, I want to see dolphins. And he took me to this place and there were baby dolphins everywhere and I was like okay so now you made that dream come true now can you make one jump over your boat and he's like I don't think I could do that but it was just so beautiful and even when I'm driving to work I go over the bay bridge um and sometimes I'll see dolphins in the gulf there you know swimming around and just playing you know it's just it's awesome I I like I don't think there'll ever be a time when I see a dolphin and I don't get excited by seeing it. So, you know, there's that. <clears throat> so those are pretty much my pros, you know. But my cons. Drivers. So I would say probably 9 out of 10 drivers, ten, 9 out of 10 drivers will be on their phone texting. Where whenever you leave your house, you might, might might as well just plan ten minutes early, leaving ten minutes early, because you're gonna get behind someone who is messing with their phone, going ten miles under the speed limit, or when you get to a stoplight and it turns green, they're just gonna sit there because they're playing with their phones. I have started to honk at them because they frustrate me. Um. 
it's just yeah, we they really need to crack down on the people on their phones. It's just ridiculous out here and it's completely dangerous and it just shouldn't be done, period. Put your phones on, you know, on the side, use hands free or don't do anything at all. Um, the other thing that really bothers me are the lights. I don't know if it's all over Florida, but I know it's here in Pinellas County. The lights are three minutes long. If you get stopped at a stoplight, you're going to be there for about a song. And then you'll go to the next stoplight and you'll get stopped there too. So it, it takes forever to get anywhere down here, um, which is a little bit trying and a little bit frustrating. Um, people always complain that, you know, their traffic is so bad. And I'm like, it's not your traffic, it's your lights. I come from Chicago and their traffic was bad. Here, it's not bad. It's just they really need to regulate their lights more. Um, I've already said stuff about palmetto bugs and how I hate them. Yucky, poo-poo, crap. Um, the final thing is mosquitoes. That's my other, um, my other con. They, in the spring and summer, they are all over. And they attack your feet. And your feet get really itchy. And... It's annoying as heck when you're trying to go to sleep and your feet are itchy because you have mosquito bites all over them. Um, Walmart has a generic, like, itch be gone kind of thing that works really well. But one of the things that I do is I'll use lemongrass essential oil and I'll put it on my feet before I go out because they don't like the smell of that. So that's a little bit of a tip there. But yeah, the mosquitoes are way out of control here so there's lots of standing water so you can understand why they're out of control and you got to be careful too because everything that you do if you put like mosquito killer in the water it'll probably end up going out to the bay which could actually affect the ecosystem so you just gotta be smart and be careful about it um but that's pretty much it I have more pros than I do cons. Um, so I think I'm staying. I think I'm going to stay in Florida. I love it, you know. So love my apartment. Love being by my brother. Everything's really awesome. So if you have any pros or cons for Florida, please comment downstairs. Downstairs. Please comment down below. Um, and, you know... Thank you for watching. I love that you guys support me. And if you want to tell a friend and get a friend involved watching my videos, I'm trying to get my subscribership up. So, you know, go ahead and tell a friend. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you.